All right. So the very last thing I can do to optimize this for bringing over is maybe I don't want that text to always be white as, as part of the smart object. Maybe the only white I definitely want are the outlines on elementals. Notice I don't have an outline around angry or around anything else. Um, so to give myself the most options for flexibility, what I can do is take this white text in LC Art Club, because I've already outlined it, each of them are individual vector paths, right, with anchors. So if I use the small selection tool, you can see that, right? So what I can do is make a duplicate of it. Command C, paste it on a new. Okay, by selecting it and making a copy and then pasting that onto a new layer. And by taking the, the swoosh that's behind it, copying it and pasting it to a new layer. What I can do is use Pathfinder to cut out the foreground from the background by selecting both of those layers. Going to Pathfinder and excluding. But instead of it being white, I want it to be black. So you can see that the gray now comes through. And I think that makes it even more versatile. I could always uh, color it in Photoshop behind it with white if I wanted to. But now that's the EPS I want. Right? And I want to turn off <laughs> this one again. Uh, let me just erase them all. This is the outlined. When I merged them, I brought it back even though I had it turned off. Okay, so now I've got that, even though it's off to the side. So what do I do before I close it? I delete any empty layers that aren't necessary. I lock the layers that are necessary. I lock but leave off the layers that I'm not choosing to use at the moment. Like that one. That one, that was the different option I had. The reason it's nice to, to give yourself all of these variations is so that you can look. If I needed to, to not have white, I could, but I like it better with it. This one's just empty, because when you merge, it leaves an empty layer for you. All right, so now I can save, not just as my Illustrator file, for my, my black vector title flag, but also as an EPS. And then I'm going to bring that into my poster. And you're going to submit your sketch. Where's my sketch? This thing <laughs> to photo bucket. And you're going to submit the, the black and white uh, title flag, and then you'll submit a colored version, and then you'll submit your poster. So lots of different components that go into it. All right, so I'm gonna close these up. And now what I can do is I can move this EPS onto my Photoshop file instead of just the, the sketch being there, I can move my vector shape. Move it down a little bit. Okay, now, because of that, let's move that and my sketch layer up above all this other stuff. And let's take all this other stuff, except for the backgrounds, 
and move it down. Oh, I have to unlock when it's locked. I think it's only the black outline. All right. Maybe give me a little bit more space and then move these two a little bit more. All right, so Angry Elementals, NLC Art Club and Digital Art, and then I have Water Vomiting. Now, the reason I did this is this will be the title for our whole show. I'm just showing you how it can be used to make a poster. So that's black and white. Now, does it look good on black? No, you lose all of that text. Does it look good on gray? Looks better on gray. It's going to look best with color. And remember, as an EPS, we can always um, add effects to it. We can always add a stroke, add outlines, add glows, add texture. But right now, this is just what I want. So I'm going to save this as my poster. Because this is large. Remember, this is 18 by 24 inches by 350. which is pretty much the largest standard arch size. So this is going to be assignment eight. And this is my poster layout with spot illustration to the desktop. And I'll move that into assignment eight. All right, and for good measure, you know, these are the different tests I had. I'll leave those just so we can see the process. But I'm going to take everything that relates to my illustration and put it into one one group. And then I'm going to bring in my color separation one. Hold down option, merge all the visible into one layer. The top, notice I have the background turned on. That's what I brought into photo bucket and into red bubble. And then what I can do is select all of that layer, copy it and paste it on top here and then just move it down. It should fit exactly over the top of my other. Right. So then I have those options. There we go, very good. I can even fade one out over the other. So there's little remnants of it. Helps me line it up. Yeah, nice. Because your poster is going to pick up everything. And I'll call that CMYK SEPS. The digitally colored spot. Now all the different options are, are in there, but it's all just grouped. And then whether it works on a black background, whether it works on a gray background or a white background, we'll figure out what's the best background for the poster after we've colored our spot illustration. So let's save that. And that's a good place to leave off. Uh, next time I'll play with layer styles in here for coloring. And then also digital coloring by coloring behind it.